Today we'll be doing the integral from 0 to 1 of x ln x dx. And to start off, we could use integration by parts. So we could set u equal to x. So that implies that du equals dx. We could set dv equal to the natural log of x, which v equals the integral of the natural log of x dx. And that's x ln x minus x. So we have to use the integration by parts formula. So uv, so x times x ln x minus x. But now I have to evaluate this from 0 to 1 minus the integral of v, x ln x minus x, du, which is dx. So this becomes x squared ln x minus x squared, where I've evaluated this from 0 to 1 minus the so now I could distribute that. So it's going to be minus the integral from 0 to 1 of x ln x, and then plus the integral from 0 to 1 of x dx. So now we could say that, so evaluate the f of b term first. So 1 squared times the natural log of 1 minus 1 squared. So label that f of b minus the f of a term, which is going to turn to some limit. So the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x squared ln x minus x squared. So that's f of a term minus the integral from 0 to 1 of x ln x plus the integral from 0 to 1 of x, x dx. So the natural log of 1 is 0. 1 times 0 minus 1. And then I could distribute that even further. So minus the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x squared ln x. And then it's going to be a plus the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x squared minus the integral from 0 to 1 of x ln x. And then a plus the integral from 0 to 1 of x dx. So the integral from 0 to 1 of x ln x dx is negative 1 minus the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x squared ln x and plus the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x squared minus the integral from 0 to 1 of x ln x plus the integral from 0 to 1 of x dx and the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x squared will trend towards 0 and we could add this integral to the other side. So now we have 2 integral from 0 to 1 of x ln x dx is minus 1 minus the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x squared ln x plus the integral from 0 to 1 of x dx. So now we have to evaluate this outer limit here. So the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x squared ln x equals the limit as x approaches 0 from above of ln x over 1 over x squared. And from here, you can notice we can use L'Hopital's rule. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from above of the derivative of the natural log of x over the derivative of 1 over x squared. This is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from above of the derivative of the natural log of x with respect to x is 1 over x and the derivative of 1 over x squared. So the derivative of 1 over x squared is the derivative of x to the negative 2 power. So just use the power rule. So minus 2x to the minus 2 minus 1. So minus 2x to the negative 3, which is minus 2 over x cubed. So over minus 2 over x cubed. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x cubed over negative 2 times x. This is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x squared over negative 2. But as the limit as x approaches 0 from above of this function now would trend off to 0. So we could um, 
delete all of this for now. So we showed that that lim outer limit is zero. So this entire thing is zero. So two integral from zero to one of x ln x dx is negative one plus the integral from zero to one of x dx. So that's a really easy integral, the integral from zero to one of x dx. So two integral from zero to one of x ln x dx is negative one plus brackets. The integral of x is x squared over two. We have to evaluate from zero to one. So two integral from zero to one of x ln x dx is negative one plus the f of b term. So one squared over two minus zero squared over two. So two integral from zero to one of x ln x dx is negative one plus, so this collapses to zero and we have a half. So two integral from zero to one of x ln x dx. So we could unify the denominator. So we're gonna have a negative two plus one over two, which is equal to minus one half. So we have two integral from zero to one of x ln x dx is negative a half. And we can multiply a half on both sides. So therefore, the integral from zero to one of x ln x dx is minus a fourth. And this is the final result. Thank you very much for watching.